do you think you made during that first game? Well, thank you for watching my my uh, YouTube series. I, I appreciate that. No problem, man. A lot of hard work right there. I, I appreciate that, though. Every view matters. So if y'all haven't watched it out there, just please uh, please watch and subscribe. Maybe retweet it a little bit, too. But um, I mean the 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 Heisman thing. I mean it, it was uh, just something like like a hobby, I guess I could do it during um quarantine. I really wasn't really focused on it. Um, you know, as a running back, it's it's hard to to win a, a Heisman <laughs> if, if we're being realistic here nowadays, especially with all these great quarterbacks. Um, so I mean it was really just hobbies like that. And uh, the, the performance Saturday it was really like a team performance. We all came um. And came to Missouri and, you know, played as a team. And it was good with the outcome we had. A lot of stuff to work on, though. Jeff Spiegel, you're up. Yeah, Najee, I know you worked in the offseason with uh, former Auburn Tiger Brad Lester. What what did he teach you and how, how did he make you a better running back, do you think? Yeah, man, Brad was a uh, – I met Brad um, – like I said, in the summer too, he was a, a good mentor. You know, he, he was playing, he knew a lot about the game. So um, he introduced a new um, drills for me of uh, how to beat people one-on-one, -on -one, um, better conditioning, better explosiveness. So, uh, you know, learning from Brad was, was pretty good. Over to Charlie Potter. Hey Najee, given how uh, outspoken you were with the "We Want to Play" campaign this off season, just how good was it to get back on the field Saturday and actually play in the game, given the uncertainties of the off season? Exactly. Yeah. So, um, like you said, there was a lot of uncertainties of coming in the season, especially around this building. You know, it was a lot of like the energy was levels like, you know, are we going to play or not? You know, are we going to play? You know, why is it taking so long? Stuff like that. So, you know, uh, me and all the other players around the conference. SEC, Big Ten, Big Twelve, Pac Twelve, everybody, you know, um, all of us came together and that uh that uh I think it's called the I have a terrible memory. It's called like College Player Association. I think it's a group message we have. And we all just like, you know, came together and said like, you know, uh we need to hear our voices. And um we I think personally that, you know, we actually made an impact of uh the the college people. Um and you know, for us to let us play. It was a lot of relief on, on our side of the coaches too, players, everybody in the, in Alabama really, because um, you know, it, it could have been taken away from us, and for us to let us play, you know, is a was a, a honor, I guess, really. So let's play during these tough times, right? AP Stedham, you're up. Hey Najee. What's up? Uh, Najee. You know, I I I I, I, I have met you. I have known you since like what junior year of high school, sophomore year of high school. When was the yeah. first time? Yeah, the first I mean, game. So damn long, it's been crazy as hell. I, mean, I see your face. I'm like, I know this dude from right damn sophomore year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, we had a lot of fun out there in California a few times. Facts, facts, facts. The yak. Oh yeah. Hey Najee, what are some of your individual goals, and would you like to be the person that becomes the school's all-time leading rusher, surpassing Derrick Henry, the Heisman Trophy winner? Oh, shoot, I don't know, man. <laughs> I can think about that. I didn't even know I was even on track to do that until, like, I got tagged in some uh, after the game. So, I mean, like, it ain't really a goal. It's not really my personal goal. My personal goal is to become, like, more of, like, a, a spokesman person because I suck out there right now with my teammates. I'm not really the type of guy to be, like, in front of people and, like, talk. I'm not really that type of guy. I like talking to people one-on-one -on -one more. I'm, like, that type of guy. So, like, I try to be a better teammate right now, really. It's not really about numbers. I try to work on the stuff that I need to improve on. Um, I try to put that, like, better stuff, I guess, on film, you know, um, or running to the ball more, finishing runs. I actually got in trouble for not finishing a run in the game. Um, stuff like that, though, like, not not really numbers, just, like, improving more on the stuff that I lacked last year is really what, uh, stuff I, what I look forward to individually-wise. And next question goes to Mike Rodak. Just following up on Charlie's question there about the, the we want to play movement, even after yeah. the SEC said it would play, how much contact did you have with guys, the Big Ten and the Pac-12, just talking to them and, and trying to get those conferences to eventually come back as they did? Well, yeah. Um, well, so after the we want to play thing happened, you know, we we did a lot of other stuff um, other than football stuff. You know, we did the um, – Stuff with, uh, I guess there was another shooting with the police officers and stuff like that. So we did a lot of stuff about that to help, like, build stuff up that, like, to raise more awareness about that stuff. Um, but 
with the football stuff with the conference. Um, so I think it was who was the first one I got to say okay to to, to play again? Was it the the Big Twelve? The Big Ten was the first one. Okay, and then like so we're I'm in this group message and like there was a couple Pac-12 players in there and they made this funny meme of like all of us ACC SEC players are like playing and then like the Pac-12 is just like standing in the window just looking waiting for their turn. So really like everybody in the group chat was like, you know, they understand everything. There was really like, it was really like, um, there was just like congratulating everybody, the Pac-12 when they wasn't uh, yet, I guess, able to play. They was congratulating everybody who was able to play. And they was just saying like, you know, I hope you guys, you know, saying you guys, you guys do, you get, you guys do your stuff, you know, stay safe and stuff like that. And, um, you know, just make sure that like, you guys keep fighting for us too. So like we all stayed together and, um, you know, I guess kept tweeting stuff out, tweeting stuff out, and then like you know now everybody is playing now. For the most part, everybody's playing. I guess I, I don't. All Power, five. All Power yeah. five is playing for the most part, and that and I feel like we we really had we really played a part in that the college football player association thing. I forgot what it's called. All right, James Ogletree, over to you. Yeah, Najee, uh, I was just curious what you thought about the running game as a whole on Saturday, how the how the O-line was blocking for you in your own performance. And also, you guys pulled your two guards a lot. I was just curious how you how you felt that went and what uh, what you feel like that gave you. You said we pulled our two guards a lot? As a running game, pulled those two guys. Say, say, say that again. Yeah, I, I was asking about the running game on Saturday as a whole, and then when you pull your two guards, what like just what's your – assessment of running behind those two guys and what does that add to your running game i mean that was just uh the play to be honest so just pull two guards but um like the running game uh, like as as the whole i'm saying like th there was a lot of, of goods and bads we worked on me personally too um the o-line too it was a lot of mizzou was a good a, a good defense so uh, like they run a lot of twists a lot of games and stuff like that they run over the top with their linebackers and their safeties you know what i'm saying they run their safeties play to run a lot um so just us picking up us the whole line picking up the games and the twists and the and the cross dogs and all that stuff like it was a, it was it was it was hard at first too because uh, that was the first game too playing in a long time so later on like in the game um, we got used to it and then the the run game start start working more so like that um, the twist the 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 uh, the pull in guards that's just uh, was part of the play it, it was nothing like I guess different I guess like that I'm trying to say. It's just, Part of the These run. will be the last few questions. Tony Sakalas, go ahead. This is live. Hey, you're going up against uh, Bobby Brown, one of the best defensive linemen in the SEC. Just what kind of challenge does he present in stopping the run? Yeah. Um, the whole Texas a &M D line defense in general has a, a really good defense. Um, they, they, they run heavy on the, or they stop the, really do a good job of stopping the run. Um, their safeties plays a, a huge part in the run game too. So, um, you know, the whole, just uh, other than Bobby Brown, it's like the whole front four they have is, is all good, including the linebackers um, and the safeties and the, and the DBs they have. Everybody on that team is like a person that we can't like, you know, not include in the game plan. So, um, you know, but the per uh, Bobby, of course, he, he he's a he's a good player too. But the whole front four is all like, is all huge too. You know what I'm saying? They're six four, six five, three hundred, two hundred, two eighty. They're all they all got size and they all can move. So like, this is gonna be another you know another challenge for us. But um, you know, us as a team is ready for the challenge, like always. And we'll finish up with Stephen Smith. Hey Naja, as fun as it is to watch Jamin Waddle and Devontae Smith. How fun is it to see John Mechie get out there and do something? Yeah, it was good. Um, Mechie's a, a young guy who has to step up. You know, we lost um, Ruggs and, and Judy. So, you know, was, he had to, we had to find that guy to replace him. And I think Mechie stepped up to, to do his part. There's going to be a, a lot of younger guys we got, too, to play. But um, I, I would love to see more of Mechie, you know what I'm saying, uh, do his thing out there. But like you said, like we got Schmitty, Waddle, Mechie. We got like, a lot of young guys. We still got depth at receiver. I feel like people don't think we have, like – type of talent I are still like that losing the two guys but you know we still got a lot of guys young guys too who can play and um Mechie is, is one of those people you know he showed up this year he's going to show up more in, the, in games coming you know he's getting more experience game by game he's getting the game is slowing down for him he's learning more he's learning more he's really anxious too to get out there and uh and make more plays you know what I'm saying so uh we got a lot of young guys to play too 